Okay, so to finish off the costing section, I would also want to have a discussion on business planning. Now, all businesses need to plan in order to run their businesses successfully. All right, so so that's an essential part for every business. You cannot wait for events to take place. You have to prepare yourself with advanced planning. For example, if a business does not forecast the fact that it would run into some some sort of cash deficit, and let's say that they suddenly realize at the end of, end of the month that they're out of cash, they need to borrow. So if they go to the bank at that point in time, the bank would give them a loan at a higher interest rate as opposed to an advanced planning where they can get a loan in advance and maybe negotiate a better rate as well. All right, so businesses do need to plan. Now what we can do is we can break down our planning into two different components all right so we can divide it into long-term planning one can be the long-term aspect of of planning and one can be the short-term aspect of planning so the long-term planning is usually to define your strategy or you can say your future outlook so all your future strategies depend on your long-term planning all right so the business would want to analyze their position circumstances and maybe plan that what how much do they want their market share to be in the future what influence the competition will bring in this is all part of your long-term or strategic planning what we want to focus on is your short-term aspect of plan so i can say moving here short-term planning or which is also called operational planning is basically to plan on the short term basis needs of the business and they're called budgets. All right. So budgets will help the management show that what do they plan to achieve in the future time, let's say within a year's period, within six months and how that will influence their strategy. All right. So uh, when we do A2 level, you guys will see this in detail that firms have to budget how much their sales will be in this year how much will their purchases will be in the current year how much cash inflow and outflow would they need how would their budgeted income statement or and budgeted statement of financial position look like all right so these are all part of a business's short-term plan okay so if we were to discuss the advantages of preparing budgets or short-term plans for the business the first advantage i would say is that budgets basically allow firms to communicate amongst the department all right so if, so for example if your ceo gives a direction to the sales manager that your sales target should be this and to let's say the other state sales manager your sales target should be this so there is an essential communication going amongst the firm all right so budgets will help you communicate amongst the firm budgets will also help you define the area of responsibility if you define that the sales manager should achieve this much sales the purchases manager should should buy it at this cost so you're essentially delegating responsibility as well all right and this can also act as a motivating factor for the firm because management will feel that they're part of the business decision making process and and that would definitely increase the the morale of the organization and of course budgets will help you align with your overall long-term plan or strategic plan because this becomes a part of your bigger picture all right so in order to achieve your long-term goal the short-term goal or your budgets will help you achieve that goal all right and it also leads to a more efficient use of resources uh, and you can also control cost. Remember, controlling cost is very important. So you you should always keep a track of the fact that what was your budgeted cost versus what was your actual cost. And this essentially helps a business track the reason for the difference as well. So, for example, if the market prices of that good goes up, you can understand that. But let's say if you're buying from an expensive supplier versus let's say an alternative supplier available, that's an area where the business is being inefficient over here all right so budgets will help you keep a track of that on the other hand we should also look at some of the disadvantages budgets will only be good as the data is being used all right so if you're using inaccurate data or if you're being too optimistic or pessimistic this will have a knock-on effect on other budgets as well all right so you should not give an over 
ambitious sales target to your sales manager which might lower his morale or or maybe give a very easy sales target which would mean that the manager would not want to go ahead in achieving higher sales all right so your budgets will only be good as the data is being used budgets should not become a part of an overriding goal because they can lead to incorrect decision making being held as well so yeah so linking it to this budgets can act as a demotivator budgets might be based on plans that can be easily achieved so a firm would never want to go beyond that budgets can lead to departmental rivalry as well all right so different departments can now act as competing ones as well and smaller businesses obviously will find limited benefits of implementing budgets this would be more suitable for larger businesses however planning is also required for smaller businesses too and budgets have to take into account any limiting factor which we've already discussed any resource constraint too we should also think of it like this so firms that were operating pre covid they had no idea of covid hitting the world and leading an impact to businesses being shut down there there was no sales so your budgets also became meaningless as well so budgets have to be updated they have to be realistic they have to show what the market is reflecting at this point and what the firm can achieve all right so budgets will be as good as much as the firm can keep in helping the the management stay efficient over here all right so that pretty much sums up the costing component over here we will obviously study budgets in advance at the a2 level but at the as level this is the knowledge we need to understand business planning